It's the next episode. Hi. Okay, so, Xander, yeah. you go that way. I go this way. Once we either find the cave or diamonds or something cool, you let me know. All right. Ogres are not ogres. Use, 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 you. That's the sound of him disapparating. Oh, there's that's the sound of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of the beast! Noot noot! <laughs> That's the sound of the police! Noot noot! That's the sound of the beast! Noot noot! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Man, I'll tell you, Popeyes will bless your soul with these biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> these biscuits! <laughs> These biscuits. It's ah! biscuits, my dude. <laughs> it is th these biscuits, my dudes. <laughs> it's Popeyes, my dudes. <laughs> ah! Oh shit! These silverfish are coming out of the woodworks. Why are there it's just okay. silverfish in Minecraft? What? Why would you put silverfish in Minecraft? What cruel god did this? His name is Jeb. Maybe Jeb. Seriously, Jeb is someone that worked on this game. Oh. Yeah. He's, he was one of the original developers. Jeb is the head of Mojang. Are you saying that Jeb is one of the developers? It's not Jeb, it's Jeb. His name is Jeb. His name is Jeb. <laughs> Seriously though, to anybody out there who hasn't seen 21 and 20 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street with Jonah Hill and Jenny and Tatum, those movies are really funny and surprisingly, like, really well done. You know what else is well done? Burr. Burr. These biscuits. <laughs> 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 Stock, that stock photo pterodactyl. Yeah. Well, Xander, I've got enough um, cobblestone in my inventory to choke someone with a cobblestone fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Feed me the cobblestone. You can do that. Stand still, Xander. Uh, That's gorgeous. The torches. <laughs> We're done now. Wait, 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 hold on. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. Okay, so, Xander. Are we, like, stuck down here right now? No. Why? Where's the road? Road. Road. There it's it up, is. It's up here. I still hear silver fix. I actually don't have the volume on right now. So I can better. I have to go with the new pickaxe. I'm gonna start, uh, smelting this- the, the- I have 41 iron, dude. Good. But yeah, I, I, I forgot we're still in this ravine. Ravine? Rovio, the company who made Angry Birds. Oh yeah. Do you know for the longest time I was obsessed with Angry Birds? I kinda still am. I found gold! You can only mine that with an iron pickaxe. Oh, that's bullshit. Xander, so I don't have a pickaxe, so... Wait, I can just make one. Because I was kind of stuck here. But I can make one. Make it I can happen. make a stone one. How could this happen to meme? It's Wednesday, my dudes. Uh...
These biscuits came from Popeyes. <laughs> have you seen have you seen that remix of uh all the single ladies that's uh remixed into all the single furries? No. Good. But you know what I do know, Xander? What? I know that you're my special friend. Oh hi! Hi! Where the fuck? That was incredible! I just dug up from here and then there you were. Yeah, where the fuck do we go? Um up. We go up. Look at all this jizz. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Um. So Xander, it's uh totally nighttime right now. Thankfully, we're not we're not far from our house, but I gotta rush into the house. You're right. It is nighttime. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I got stuck under our farm for a second. Yar. Let's do it, yar. <laughs> what is that from? That's from the ice bucket challenge. Oh, yeah. Do it. Let's do it. Yar. Let's do it, yar. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with that. <laughs> and you can't change it. I got a lot of things smoking right now. No way! Can I cook your dog? What? Can I cook your dog? Yeah. I won't though. I just want to know if I could. Click, click. I can make a dance. Please stop this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lie until it hurts. I'm gonna sell some pants. And if I have enough, I'm gonna make you some pants too. Yay! I don't like my dick flailing in the wind. Dick flailing in the wind. Windfish fetish. <laughs> I love the windfish. Anybody who who is interested, look up um the windfish from uh, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. I love the windfish. Yo, what if someone did have a fetish for green fish? Hold on. Alright, Xander, in the morning I'm gonna give you pants. Alright. Wind fish fetish. I throw pants at you! I still gotta make myself a chest plate. Oh my god. Oh what? my god. <laughs> what? What, Xander? <laughs> Nothing. Seriously, are you okay? Yeah. What were you just laughing about, dude? A picture that was my reaction when I realized that windfish is my fetish. And it was just a really stupid looking link going, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Please tell me you got that recording. Uh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. All right. I want to treasure that noise forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Eh 
<laughs> Sander, I'm gonna send you a link to that video, and you should put a link to that video in the description. I should. Come on, it's on a YouTuber called Venuma Venumalesh. Venumalesh, awesome. some eggs. <laughs> what? In the words of my grandfather. Eggs? <laughs> oh, I gotta put a link in the description for that video. So, do you remember The Land Before Time? Uh, I, I don't remember a lot of specifics about it, but I remember I used to watch it when I was little. There's this one movie that had these two, uh... Uh, Overaptors? In it? You don't, you don't know what an Overaptor is, do you? I know what ovals are. It's an overraptor. They're like egg-eating raptors. They like eat eggs specifically. Eggs? Yeah, and there's a song called Eggs. <laughs> and like the chorus is just the guy going eggs. <laughs> because hey. because they're the bad guys and they're like, you know, trying to eat, you know, eggs which are like children. So, yeah. Sander, I can drop a huge nostalgia bomb on you with just three words. What? Brave little toaster. Uh, yeah, I, brave I, little toaster. I actually never watched that. I did. I only watched it one time, but it left a huge impact on me. <laughs> That's because it's impacted. You know what movie I re do you know what a really good like lesser known non Disney animated movie is? Um, uh, Mean Kids. No, um, the se uh the Secrets of Nim. I don't think I've I I might have seen that when I was like really little, but I don't like remember seeing that. Movie. So basically, it's a combination of fantasy and like. Sci-fi, because like so it's the about. I've seen I've seen stills from it. The visuals look really cool. It's great. So basically, a bunch of like mice and rats are experimented on, and they get like intelligence, but it's like medieval level intelligence. So like, they they have like kingdoms and like clans and stuff, but it's in like modern day settings. So like out so like, outside there's like like there's, there's like. Like, to light their cities, they use Christmas lights, but, like, they're, like, lanterns, but they're, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're intelligent. Let's do it, lamp. Like, they're, let's feed it a lantern. Do it. <laughs> do it. Let's do what it. What if the beef had, like, a, had like, an Indian accent? What the feed the lantern? Feed the lantern. Cut them down with your axe woods, man. Feed it. <laughs> you know you want to. Do you really want to go back Yo, to the house? The beast is one of my, my favorite monsters, like ever. I love the beast. It's so cool. Um You guys don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about over the garden wall. Also yeah. known as one of the best. Car one of the best short form cartoon series in the last decade. Yeah. Do you know Cartoon Network has said that um, if, if the Beast is actually one of the most evil characters they've ever created? Yeah, the Beast is pretty messed up. Okay, so for everybody watching this, if you have no intention of watching Over the Garden Wall, look up the picture of what the Beast actually looks like. But, if you do want to watch it, do not look it up, because the surprise is amazing. There's there's a scene, I think it is the last episode. Yeah, the last there's a episode. scene in the last episode where for one frame, you like, all you see of the beast normally is just his shadow and his eyes. Like, and so, but there's one frame in the last episode where you see what he actually looks like. And it's terrible. I actually caught it while I was watching the show. Like it lagged I, out. So I saw like it. it was tear. I actually caught it. <laughs> it was tear. 
But yeah, I will admit, I was that not... Was I was Bender, not... did you actually see it when it was on TV, or did you have to look it up after? Um... I looked it up after to, like, clarify what I saw. Yeah, that's like... what I did. Like, I caught it, but I didn't catch, like, the... Like, the frame. I caught it when it was, like, half on him, and I was like, what the fuck? So I looked it up real quick, and I was like, Oh! What the fuck, Cartoon Network? <laughs> What? The fuck? <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Imagine the beast saying, "Let's do it, yar." <laughs> Woodsman, let's do it, yar. <laughs> well, yeah, legitimately, it's I. Kinda hard to... It's kind of hard to describe what Over the Garden Wall is about. Because there's a lot of themes in there about, like, growing up and stuff. I feel... Okay, uh, are we ready for theory time with Xander here? Uh, yeah. So, um, potential spoiler warning for Over the Garden Wall. Yeah. Um, if you actually want to watch it, skip to the next episode, because we won't be talking about it then, probably. Yeah. Alright, so... Um... So, I, I believe that, um, the unknown is, like... Um, limbo in between life and death. Mm -hmm. And the beast is like the concept of giving up on life. Because, like, if you. Because, you know, the, the woodsman doesn't want to let go of his daughter who he thinks is dead and her, his, um, and her uh, soul is in the lantern, so he. You know, feeds the lantern with uh, the the uh, wood, oil, whatever. Um, but once he like lets go and like accepts that she's dead, even though she's not actually dead. Um, mm -hmm. But like when he accepts the fact that she's dead, that um, and like blows out the lantern, that defeats the beast. And like uh, like get the giving like it's about like it's like. Uh, Honestly, like, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't really know if I like Beatrice as a character. Beatrice is certainly a complex and well-written character. It's just very hard to, like, concretely side with or against her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. D fun fact, did you know Beatrice is a character in uh, Dante's Inferno? Who guides Dante through heaven? Oh, oh... Fun fact, did you know that when Dante meets Satan in hell, it's cold and frozen? Mm. Fun fact, did you know a Latin version of Potatoes and Molasses plays in the last episode? Yeah. Fun fact, did you know... Um... It's, it's like... What's your theory about, like, the reality of Unknown? Like, putting aside the whole idea of, like, the limbo theory, because, yeah. like, I'm not convinced. You 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 put a lot into my head, but I still like theorizing, like, other angles. Like, what are some other angles do you think it could be? Um. Well, I mean, just because it's, like, limbo doesn't, like, does it, like, it's just another, like, it's just another place, you know? Like, stuff is there. You know, it's like... It's just another part of, like, existence. Like, stuff lives there, you know, that isn't, like, in the... Yeah, because... Like, if you remember, to get to the unknown, they had to go over the wall. Meaning they fell, and they might have, like, hit their head or something. Like, yeah. I don't think it was a hallucinogen, but I but I feel like maybe them hitting their heads made them a bit more susceptible to the beast. I... But remember, Perhaps. the whole time that they were... Like, in the unknown, they were, like, in the river. Yeah. And, like, they were, like... So, like, they were, like... That's kind of, true. They could have died in the river, but, uh... Uh, fucking... Uh, Gnome Boy. Uh, what was his name? Uh... The one with the pointy red hat? The one with the pointy red hat, yeah. That's uh, that's Greg. No, Greg. that's that's work. Greg is the one with the with the, uh, with the teapot. Oh yeah. 
Word. Um, but yeah, Word. Um, uh, doesn't. Uh, like you know, like you know, he he wakes up, you know, and he. Hey, this is my room. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he uh, saves. Uh, uh, the, the. I suck with names. Uh, precious teapot child. That's uh, that's uh, that's Greg. Greg, he saves Greg, who uh, um, yeah, was about to be taken by the beast. Theorizing with Xander. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like I. It's like it's it's hard for me to like say what I've got in my head out loud when I'm thinking about it at the same time. It is hard to word. It is hard to word. I get it though. Like I'm not making fun of you. Like I've been there too. Yeah. Oh, there are many a creeper by our house. We must deal with them. Bit. Ah! Oh, let's play keep away. Oh, keep away. Oh. Get. Um. I think one of my favorite characters from Over the Garden Wall, besides, uh, um, God damn it, Teapot Child. That's Greg. Greg. Greg, Greg, Greg. Besides Greg and, uh, the Beast and, uh, um, the Woodsman, would, would have to be the crazy guy from the Mansion episode, because he's great. I love his, like... I like the... I I like the pumpkin village. That's some of the most unsettling imagery I've ever seen in the cartoon. Oh, yeah. Not even scary, just unsettling. Oh yeah, Enoch was the... Fun fact, Enoch is the name of another biblical figure. Yeah. Forgot what he was. That I knew. I, I don't know who it is, but I know, I know the name. Yeah. Um... Hey, Xander, you, you, wanna, you wanna film, like, one more episode tonight? Yeah. Also, do you know that Pottsfield... Um, is a play on the uh, term pot field, which is a slang term for uh, mass graves. Oh. Where they bury uh, like people, but they don't give them like gravestones. They just bury people. I know what a mass grave is, Xander. Oh yeah, but yeah, so that's what they called. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pots field is a play on the term, you know, pot fields. Pot pot. Pot. Yo, on the real though, why was she having school for raccoons? It wasn't just raccoons, That's it was like, a bunch of animals. But like, I watch over the garden wall, and that's what I'm questioning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not questioning why there's a boat of frogs, and why uh, George Washington can sing. Yeah, I, I actually think that like, that's part of the reason I'll, I like. Do you want to end this episode here? Um. Yeah. And then we'll do one more. All right.